Microsoft released Windows 8 nearly a year ago. We will soon have a revised version of Windows 8, which will be 8.1. Windows 8.1 is currently available as a preview edition. The finished version reportedly with 26 improvements will be available as a free Windows 8 upgrade in mid-October of 2013. We have loaded the preview version of 8.1 Pro on a mouse and keyboard laptop. No touch features are enabled. A first look at the start screen doesn't look much different from that of Windows 8. Any misconceptions of Windows 8 or 8.1 not working with this configuration are false. Windows 8 may ask you to activate your copy of 8.1. Do not close the product activation app for now. Your current Windows 8 product key will not work to activate 8.1. We will cover the activation a little later in this presentation. Microsoft has simplified toggling between the Start and App screen. A shortcut has been added to the bottom of each window. The Windows key shortcuts are still in place. The App screen has remained the same with several more apps. A Help and Tips app are both displayed on the Start and App screen. A quick note, Microsoft's Office 2010 Starter Edition is not included in the 8.1 update. Click on the Help and Tips app, then click the Frequently Asked Questions. Here are some helpful tips to get you started. Here you will find your product key to activate your copy of Windows 8.1. To activate 8.1, click on Do I need a product key to install 8.1? The universal product key is found here. Copy the 25 digit code. Click on the top left hand corner of the screen. Click the small window to return to the product activation screen. Paste the code and enter product key. The desktop screen has remained virtually unscathed. We'll have a look at the Windows Explorer menu. Click the Windows Explorer icon here on the taskbar. Refinements have been made to the menu on the left. The Libraries group has been replaced by this PC. The Start button has returned with a couple of new features. The Start button is located at the bottom left hand corner of all open windows. To access the Start menu, right click the Start button. A new option, Mobility Center, will be handy for laptop users. Also included, and sure to be a favorite, is the shutdown option. Sleep, shutdown, and restart. Microsoft has now given us the option of booting directly to the desktop. Also to place our desktop theme behind the Start and App screen. To access these options, right click the taskbar and click on properties. Then click the navigation tab. Click the box next to go to desktop instead of start when I sign in. Then click on show my desktop on start, then click OK. These are only a few improvements which immediately stand out. There are many more which I have not covered. Windows 8 has evolved and will continue to evolve. Thank you for viewing this presentation.